Hello everybody, this is a brief overview of the new timecode mate plugin that lets you transfer Reaper markers to Grand MA2 and edit them in real time and it also allows you to work with multiple timecode tracks simultaneously. Online editing, export and import via CSV files is also available. So, install the plugin in MA2, then in Reaper head over to Options, Preferences, Control OCS Web and click Add Web Browser Interface. You'll need to enter this address and the plugin. Alright, so let's say we already have some markers for the song structure. Let's launch the plugin. Enter the Reaper address, since MA on PC is on the same computer, it's already there. And then the timecode number. Choose Executor for the main track. You can enter a number or a name. Okay, let's look at our sequence and time code. All right, so next, add a couple of more markers. For example, between the third and the fourth Q. So there'll be Q 3.5 for build and Q 3.9 for the breakdown. Okay, you can enter fade and delay times directly in Reaper. Okay, so now that we did that, let's correct their position. Now, have a look at the syncing. There, there it is. Okay, and so then, add another timecode track for the next executor. To do that, press Shift-M to add a new color marker. So, what it's gonna do is it's gonna top executor JDCs. It already exists. Alright, so the next marker will turn it off. Now repeat. Notice how I do exactly the same thing. Okay. Alright, and so now let's create a new executor for position FX in the verse. So make new markers, assign color to them, like this, then label the new executor in MA, and then enter Q numbers, like this. Okay, and so then, Add a marker to turn off the executor. There we go. You can also specify Q commands in marker names. So for example, starting from Q1, we need low fog. Okay, then we can turn it off in Q5. See? Now, of course, you can change Q names, Q numbers, and so on and so forth. In addition to online editing, you can export markers to a CSV file, and then you can import using the plugin in MA. To make it more convenient, name the tracks, then export your markers to a flash drive, or to your import export folder. Then run the plugin and import the markers file to your timecode. Like this. There we go. Have a look at the result. Now, another thing I'd like to point out to you is that you can actually also export an existing MA timecode to markers in Reaper. Okay, so if you want to know more, you can check out the plugin manual at plugins.aveltronov.com. The plugin is available in two versions. In the light version, you can import a CSV markers file with a single track. Other features are only available in the full version. 
That's online editing and importing, exporting multiple tracks. All right, so that's it. I hope this was helpful. Thank you for watching. Good luck.